Sup Zelda fans, welcome to Testbench, where I share projects that myself and fellow Zelda engineers have been cooking up. If you'd like your builds featured in a future video, send them to me over on X, at RMFH Gaming. I have a few of these already planned and you won't want to miss them, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up on my latest posts. While you're at it, show some love and hit that like button to let me know you enjoy these kind of videos. With the formalities out of the way, let's get started. To begin the series, I decided to try to recreate the Master Cycle Zero from Breath of the Wild. Today I'll show you how to craft four different versions of it. We'll start with the Model S. The most integral piece of all of these builds is the Zonai Motor. This will make it so the stabilizer we connect to the cycle can keep the build upright. You can grab one inside the Jemimic Shrine which is in the Akala region of Hyrule. Use Fuse on the motor and then take it to Pelissin in Terrytown to have him split it from your weapon. Once you have the motor, take out the rest of the parts of the build. One beam emitter, one steering stick, two small wheels, one stabilizer, one construct head, and a stake. Take the stake and place it in the ground. Then grab the stabilizer and turn it sideways like so and connect it to the motor. This will allow you to center the stabilizer on the motor shaft. Now take the attached parts and place them on the stake. From there, put on the front and rear wheels, making sure to keep them lined up. After that, put on your steering stick, connect the beam emitter to the construct head, and then attach them both to the front of the vehicle. The last thing to do is to detach the stake from the bottom of the motor, and you'll have the Model S version of the Master Cycle. The upside is that the Model S is relatively simple to build and only takes one unique part. Because of the motor and stabilizer, the cycle can stay upright and can slowly make it upgrades. You also won't fall off this vehicle as easily as others, allowing you to take bigger falls. However, this version does come with its limitations. It doesn't have enough power due to the weight of the Zonai motor, making it slow at climbing up hills. It's also a bit wide because of the stabilizer sticking out. These are things that can all be fixed. That's why I made the Model X. The steps to build this version are the same, except for two things. One is gravity pressing and the other is phantom flipping. We'll use gravity pressing to compress the stabilizer and the motor together to get a more compact build. Then we'll use phantom clipping to attach multiple fans to the back of the rear wheel to give this build the extra power needed. To start, grab two or three stone blocks from the Tatarok Shrine on the Great Plateau. Then get the Zonai motor from the Jemimic Shrine. Now go to Terrytown and have Pelissin split the cubes in the Zonai motor. Take out a stabilizer and a stake. Put the stabilizer onto the motor and get your blocks ready to press the two together. Take out as many hover stones as you have blocks and connect them all. Now take the motor stabilizer combo and put them onto the stake with the stabilizer on the bottom. Activate the hover stones attached to the blocks and use Ultra Hand to raise them above the item. Center the blocks and drop them so they slowly fall onto the motor, pushing it into the stabilizer. Now take out another item and attach it to the build to create a save in your auto build catalog. Move the blocks off the motor and then open up auto build, selecting the most recent log. This will recreate the compressed version of the build. All you have to do from here is continue the process, pressing the objects until it gets to the point where the stabilizer and the motor are touching each other. I don't recommend taking it any further as the objects start to become lopsided. Once you have the items smashed together, you can follow the rest of the build. With that finished, we can move on to giving this ride a bit more power. This is done by utilizing phantom clipping, which permits Zonai parts to clip into each other, saving space. The easiest location to perform phantom clipping on fans, which is what we'll be using, is at the big twin bridge near the Dueling Peak stable. You can attempt to use the ones at Hudson Construction, but I've not tested them. Go to the big twin bridge and put one of the fans onto the cycle. With the fan equipped to the vehicle, follow the road and drive it to this point near the Pillars of Levia. This will respawn the fan over to the big twin bridge. Turn around and head back to grab the same fan as you did before. You'll notice that the fans clip through each other. Place it in the same location as the first, giving it just enough power to make it up steeper grades. You can add as many fans as you'd like, just keep in mind each one will contribute to the depletion of your battery. I've found that two fans works for most casual use, three is if you need a little more power when climbing steep hills, and anything after that is simply overkill because it depletes your battery too much. Another thing I'd like to point out is that you can take damage while driving this vehicle due to the construct head's placement. In the event that the construct head and beam turn towards you while driving it, just turn your steering stick towards the beam and you'll be able to avoid it. 
You can go ahead and move this around on your build. Ultimately, I just kept it here to give it that extra master cycle look. Of course, this vehicle is not as capable as I would like it to be. Because of the small wheels, it can't make it through snow or sand, so it's useless when traveling through the Hebra and Gerudo regions. That's where Model 3 comes in. All you have to do for this one is move the steering stick to the top of the stabilizer and place a big wheel in the front and back of the cycle. Now you can effortlessly move around in the sand and snow. Finally, I have Model L, the light cycle from Tron. The base build is the same as Model X, except I removed the construct head, moved the beam emitter to the rear, and put mirrors on the wheels to make it light up. Overall, this one is just for fun and it isn't as practical as the others. That's all I have to show you today. Before I go, remember to save Model X as a favorite in your auto build catalog so you'll always have access to it. Enjoy some clips I got riding the master cycle around Hyrule. Again, if you'd like your builds to be featured in a video, submit them to me over on X at RMFH Gaming. New TOTK builds are coming soon. If you stuck around this long, comment Spartan down below to let me know you made it to the end. Who knows, it might have something to do with the next video. Thanks for watching, RMFH out.